Hey folks, I wanted to tell you a couple things about the latest update that I just made to Strum Machine. Now last month we had the big update, the new song editor, and this one is just a much smaller update, but there's a couple things that I thought would be fun to show you over video. Now two of the improvements are really behind the scenes things. We've got better Bluetooth audio visual syncing on computers that are running a Chrome web browser or Chrome based browser and songs and lists sort better rather than explain what I mean by that. If you want to learn more, you can go to the top left menu and tap about slash version history, and you can read the release notes that explains what all these features are. And this is true for any update, by the way. But what I want to tell you about are a couple new experimental features. These are sort of like beta features that we're, we're previewing, we're trying out. And you actually don't need to be logged into the beta version of Strum Machine. You can just use normal Strum Machine, but you have to opt into the new feature. So here's how we do that. Again, you go to that top left menu, you tap advanced settings, and these are a bunch of settings that if you haven't been to this screen before, you might want to take a look here. You can tap the question mark on any of these to read more about what the feature does. The new features here are two taps on chord to start playing and metronome feature preview. So I'm going to turn those both on and then I'll show you what they do. Let's open a song here. And one thing we've heard from users here and there is that sometimes they're using Strum Machine not so much to practice with, but just as a reference. Like say they're at a jam or that a performance or they're leading a jam or a lesson or something. And then they have the issue where they just, in the course of using it, they accidentally tap and they start playing. Because if you tap on any chord, it'll start playing from that point. Not so great if it's all of a sudden blasting music when you don't want it to. So that first setting that we turned on just makes it so that if you tap a single time, it won't do anything. If you want to play from that spot, you have to double tap. Now let's look at that other new feature, which is the metronome. This is something, I mean, a lot of people use Strum Machine as a metronome and it can really replace the metronome in many situations, but sometimes you want that real sharp click. Uh, it can be a good practice tool. And so we've added a metronome here. If you opt into this feature, you'll have a metronome in the sidebar here. And if I enable this, then I can hit play and one, two, three, then I've got that. Four sound. I can change clicks per measure, change the sound, and I can also mute the band. If I just want to hear the metronome for a minute, old style sound if you want. So yeah, this is just sort of something I whipped together real quick because I wanted to get started on this feature and then get some feedback. So. I'll be curious to know uh, how people are using it and hearing feedback from folks. So if you try it out, please let me know how it goes. This will probably be the last update to Strum Machine for the next couple months, you know, during summer, got festivals and travel and, and I'm gonna be sort of taking some time to zoom out and do some planning and work on some bigger, bigger features that, uh, that I've been wanting to have for some years now. So. Tyler and I are going to kind of be going back and forth on that over the summer. And uh, then we'll have some new stuff in the fall for you to try out. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have fun.